All right, we're taking a look at this beech tree. Got some size to it. It's one lead over there and then there's a back lead coming off here. All the way up here. What we're looking at is this tear, this tear out of this whole stem here that laid up across the lawn here. And you can see all that lawn damage. What I want to say, yes, there's a co-dominant stem. Yes, there's a little bit of included bark up here. Not a ton of included bark, but clearly, you know, there's a fault there at the branch union there, and it could be some pressure building up. But what certainly exacerbated and led to the earlier demise of this tree through the failure was all this decay here. And you can see there's a pocket of decay there. This one, the, the, where, where the piece is gone now, but was even bigger, creating that pocket of decay. And there's that cut up there, creating a pocket of decay. And so all this stuff in the middle here, you know, that looks like a nest. So there was, a, there was enough decay there. Someone decided to build their, their home in the middle here, but this is all rotted. This is all punky. You know, there's white rot, there's brown rot, there's, you know, a lot of advanced decay in here. It's related to the, the cuts someone made on this tree, whatever that was, 20, 30, 40 years ago. And so when you're making those big cuts and they're, they're near the branch unions, you know you're going to put a, a, another factor on top of this tree and create a situation that's just ripe for failure. And that's what happened here. It's a shame because it's a beautiful tree. Another thing, of course, is on the back side, there's a couple trees back there. Not a ton of trees. Not They're not super, super tall. But on this side, it's just open sky. And so this tree is obviously going to reach out there. Like these limbs are just reaching, reaching, reaching for, uh, for the open sky. And eventually they're going to fail. So we decided we're going to take the rest of the tree down because this, this limb is kind of hanging over towards the corner of the house and the driveway. And they might park the cars under there, etc. That's a pretty big lead coming up over there too. Needs to get handled. Watch where you're making those big cuts. I tried to make anything over four inches on the, the main stem of the tree, but certainly, boy, not, not near those branch unions. Not like that. Thanks for watching.